Yeah. Ooh. What you got in there, fam? Got some socks. United socks. Resale. Go down to the welcome aboard. It's your United flag. Mask. 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 Face mask. Earplugs. 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 Earpl
pretty nice. It's crisp. It shoots in 4K. I'm sure it does all kinds of things I don't know about. But um, someone just tweeted me and said that there is a Nutella store. <laughs> just, it's different from salads of normal. Um, salads have been ridiculous. Not really been getting eaten lately on the road. It's been pretty nuts. But I also did find out I got an apartment today in Denver. So it was approved. Everything's good to go. So we're going to move into a new brand new apartment in downtown Denver. I guess that'll be like the 15th or something like that. So when I get back from Mexico, the plan now I think is to go check out this Nutella store. I didn't really know what I wanted to do today and I'm pretty hungry and I've been kind of like lazy all morning. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go and see what's up with the Nutella store. Why not, right? So let's go do that. Take a shot of? Yeah, do it. Do it. Uh, like sip it? it? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if I was supposed to drink the whole thing at once or what. I will just enjoy it. Okay. It's really good. Thank you so much. Yeah, pretty crazy. I gotta get this stuff out of here so we can look at it. It's too loud in here. Time for the Nutella store. Holy shit. I just waited in it for two hours. It just uh, opened, right? Today is the first one ever in the world, I guess. Wow. Yeah, so the line, two hours long. <laughs> two hours for some Nutella. What do they have? Uh, cream and chocolate things? Uh, well, you know what Nutella is? Yeah, I know. Okay, it's yeah, so it's basically just like a little cafe. They got a couple of sandwiches and stuff. Uh -huh. And then there's um, like every other, every dessert basically just has Nutella in it. So it's like croissants and Nutella, uh -huh. baguette and Nutella, mm -hmm. crepes. Like there's just a bunch of, <laughs> just a bunch of Nutella shit. <laughs> But it's good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Not really worth two hours, but you know, it's okay. <sighs> okay, so if you haven't figured it out by now, we went to the Nutella store or Nutella Cafe. I don't, what's it called? It just says Nutella Ferrero, but waited two hours in line to get Nutella products that I probably could have made myself, but that's not the point. It's some hype beast shit, it's fine. I did a high beast thing. I got this baguette. I brought it all here because it's so loud there. I got a sandwich, a caprese, 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 I don't know how you say it. A kale salad. And then there's also this crate down here. So I got quite a bit of stuff. I was just, by the time I got in there, I was starving. So I probably shouldn't eat all this. Let's be honest, I probably will. Let's just taste stuff. Let's just see what, what the world, what it's about. Don't have a fork. That's okay. The first Nutella, I'm pretty sure it's the first one in the world. It opened today, it just happened to open today. So, I went to go check it out. On the sandwich. Uh-huh, it looks like this. This is a sandwich. It's, um, the upper is all golden brown. I'm just kidding, I'm just gonna eat it. I don't know what this is. Those are nuts. Yeah, those are nuts. A sandwich is whatever. It tastes exactly like what you think it was. Fine salad, which I don't have a fork for. Can you give me a fork, guys? I'm just gonna eat this with my fingers because I'm a straight savage. The kale salad is actually pretty good. 
got kale and quinoa and some raisins. All right, let's get into the Nutella side of things here. This thing's crazy. I guess I'm just gonna pick this up. I'm just gonna take a bite. Crepe is pretty good. Good stuff. It's not a belly good crepe, but it's still a pretty good crepe. I really should not eat, eat all of this. I'm gonna go give some to the door guy. He asked about it. And there's the baguette. It's good. Tastes just like I thought it would. So my final review of the Nutella store in Chicago, Illinois is if there's not a line, which there probably won't be in like a couple days, it's definitely worth maybe stopping in on a date or by yourself or with a family member or a friend, whoever. Not worth waiting in line for really. Did definitely some hype beast shit, but it's still good. I mean, it's cool. Nutella Cafe, why not? You know, not a must cop, but if you're in the area, check it out. It's probably a, it, it's a good place to have lunch, I'm sure. So, quick bite to eat. But it wasn't that quick today. But I'm sure in the future it'd be very quick. Yeah, Nutella Cafe. Who would've known? Okay, so let's talk shoes because it's been a minute and I got quite a few pairs of shoes here that we can take a look at and talk about and see what's going on. Lighting, not so great. I am really excited to get home to a lighting setup. That's one thing I've missed about vlogging is having some sort of, uh, what's the word? Sched not really schedule, but just a workflow. It's really hard to do it on the road. Um, as you guys saw in the vlog, the last vlog, uh, Sager got me the Run Through Time Ultra Boost Mids. These are a sample. A lot of people are gonna call them fake. That's because they don't have any fucking clue. Um, I wouldn't get fakes, so it's funny because a week ago when I, chastised fakes that had people coming at me for being an asshole and saying I don't like fake shoes and now I'm being accused of having fake shoes so you really just you can't win on the internet so it doesn't matter to me these are the run through time mids is what they're calling them it's a consortium release there's no other company that's been announced at the collab and there's no other branding on the shoe it's just adidas uh, imagine adidas is just releasing these as a consortium consortium whichever you want to say release it's just a bunch of rumors right now i don't really know some people were saying that in july i really have no idea i don't even know I was looking up about Run Through Time, and I know that it's a marathon, and they have marathons. This shoe has a French flag on the inside here. It makes me think they're talking about a different marathon. Um, not necessarily a different marathon, but this marathon called Le Marathon de, de Mudoc. Mudoc. I don't know how you say this. This is what it looks like on the internet. No idea how you say it, but yeah, that race is supposedly the longest marathon in the world, maybe? Yeah, it's considered the longest marathon in the world. So I'm wondering if that has something to do with it. I really don't know. I don't. There's not a lot of information out there that I've seen, so I really don't know. And I don't run races, so I don't know much. I'm sure someone in the comments could tell. But as far as the shoe goes, uh, for me, the true to size of 13 is perfect. This is not prime knit. So you have a royal blue colorway, but this is mesh, as far as I can tell. It feels like mesh. It doesn't have the same nitty stretchiness to it. A lot of people give me shit for wearing mesh now because I've come out publicly talking about how much I dislike mesh. It's different. I, I guess I should retract my statement. I don't inherently dislike mesh. I just don't like mesh liners on the inside of shoes, which this shoe does not have. We'll get into a minute a shoe that does have it. This just isn't one of them. So this is an all mesh upper, but it feels good on your foot. It's really, it's pretty stretchy. It's breathable. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, mesh upper. There's suede hits around the toe box that are really nice and suede hits around the laces, which is also a really nice touch. Uh, blue laces, distressed white stripes that are painted on to the material itself. This has a, a gray heel cup. You've seen different samples with a blue heel cup, a green heel cup. There was a silver one, which I had kind of passed on this sample when it would first was offered to me because it didn't have the silver heel cup and I was just hoping that it was gonna come out with it. So I don't really know what's gonna happen. It would be nice if they put the silver on there. Consortium tabs on the tongue. This one has a red hole punch with the Adidas branding and then this one has just a gray hole punch, Adidas branding. There's a red torsion system. God, the light is fucking awful. Continental sole. God, I gotta fix this. Continental sole. Uh, boost, of course. Real boost and um, that's it, you know? Uh, and then of course, you know, like the consortium handshake is on the 
top of this tag as well. Blue laces, mine didn't come with extra laces. I'm sure that when the release comes, there'll be an extra lace set, but because it's a sample, there is no lace set. Run through time, mid ultra boost. Again, I don't know when they're releasing. I think I heard July, but I really don't know. So, but looking forward to it. I definitely like the mids. These are, and I like this version better when it doesn't have the, the new version has this tongue thing kind of on it, which looks cool. I'm, I'm interested to try it out, but so far I think I like the way this looks better. So, but we'll see. Looking forward to all the mids that are coming out, but this is the, this is the run through time mid ultra boost sample. Another shoe we got is this EQT frozen yellow colorway that we were talking about a couple weeks ago. I had said that I wanted these really bad. They were sitting in Germany, Adidas. So I had them sent to Sager's brother in Germany and they met me in London. Uh, this shoe is super sick in its colorway. I love this colorway. So you have frozen yellow, I guess, uh, a kind of mid blue, I don't even know these, these colors are so hard to figure. I don't know what you would call these colors. We'll say sky blue and kind of a minty green and then frozen yellow. That's what I would say. And then there's black hits here and there and a little bit of white, white laces. So all PK upper, I said the other day, I was kind of disappointed that this is a little too big for me. This is a 13 and a half. 13 is probably perfect. Could probably even get away with a 12 and a half if I rip the insole out of this thing. But um, this is a loose shoe. The inline, there's no real inline in the shoe at all. It's very, very minimalistic on the inside. It's very much like a sock. So this one, I probably should have sized down on. Uh, if I had to go back, that's probably what I would do, or at least at 13. But regardless, I'll still wear them, it's okay. Black ribbons make up the three stripes. All PK upper. The TPU plastic at the top of the lacing system. Kind of a heel cup that wraps all the way around the back. Boost, of course. Again, continental soles. Uh, this one did not come with extra laces. It's just a white pair of laces. And then you have the support Dubre, as they call it. Dubre. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, white and black kind of NMD like PK collar, which I really like. Black little tab on the back. And then, um, yeah. So these are super sick. I really like this colorway. I will be looking for more pairs. This one didn't really do much. Like people really, this is, people say that got slept on a lot. And it's something that really didn't get slept on. It just wasn't like crazy, you know, it, it, it's gone. People just for some reason, reason say they're sleeping. But these really did get slept on. These were not anywhere in the United States, as far as I know. Um, the stores that I talked to just didn't even order them because they didn't like them. And then in the UK, they kind of sat. They even went on sale on some websites. This colorway I think is super dope. I really, really like the way this looks with like an all black fit. It's probably one of my favorite colorways, so I definitely need to uh, find my size, but yeah, this is the EQT Support PK. I believe, I believe that's the name of it, so. we're going to talk about which i'm actually wearing still is the tokyo nmd r2 this shoe has a lot there's a lot going on with this shoe so first off let's just get it out of the way 
everyone is talking about how this looks like an off-white collab. And yeah, it kind of does. It does look a little off-whitish, for sure. The stripes are actually supposed to represent the crosswalks in Shibuya, Tokyo. That's that's the official thing that I heard. That's what it's supposed to be. But we've seen so much of this type of design from Virgil that a lot of us just uh, kind of associate it. But this is what the shoe looks like. It's got... What the fuck was that? Oh, jeez. It's got black, black stripes on the outside white stripe well kind of white they're more gray they're 3m stripes on the inside there seems to be i can't really tell there seems to be 3m kind of speckled in right through here 3m all peppered in i guess but it's not it's not super bright but it does look like it when i took photos of it it has a little sparkle to it um definitely has 3m laces tongue has the crosswalk red trim around the top of the tongue back heel tab has the crosswalk regular nmd pulls um, like we've talked about before with r2s the inner brick is present and larger. There is no outside brick. They removed it. It's kind of what people don't like about it. This R2 has a movable tongue, also a little different. There's a couple of models out like that, but for me, this is probably the second, maybe third NMD I have that has a movable tongue. The inside of this shoe does have a mesh lining. So what I'm talking about when I say I don't like mesh is this lining that you see on the tongue here. This is what I don't like. I don't like that on the inside of the shoe, especially when you go from wearing like a PK NMD. It's just a completely different feel. What I will say is that compared to an R1, the R2 is loosened out and it's not as, it's just not as smothering on your foot. When I put on that Champs NMD, uh, I guess like a year ago, uh, it was completely different. The upper didn't really have any flex to it. It was very stiff. I felt nothing like an NMD to me. I will say with the R2 that this toe box is a lot stretchier and it's a lot more breathable in the sense that it, and it's a lot looser on your foot, but I still don't really love it. It's just not my favorite thing. Actually with this pair, for whatever reason, the left shoe, this shoe here, I wore these all day in London, walking around London, and this left brick, I finally felt it. I finally felt what people were talking about where it was like killing my foot. It was killing me. It finally kind of smushed out. You can even see the creases a little bit. It finally like broke in and smushed out. Like by the end of the day, it wasn't really bothering me, but I did feel what people were saying it's definitely not comfortable for walking around all day. It wasn't. I've thrown these on a couple of times since then, just to go out and have dinner or like lounge around and stuff and they're totally fine, but still, I'd much rather walk around in a Boost shoe all day, or an Ultra Boost all day. Like, it's not even a question. People always ask me what my favorite is, and Ultra Boost still, it's probably an Ultra Boost mid just because of the support, but yeah, I, I like Ultra Boost. In the back part of the shoe, it's a lot more enforced than a regular NMD. There's a lot more support and cushioning. It's a completely different fit than an R1. Like, it's almost a different shoe to me. That's the Tokyo R2s. These released only in Adidas original stores, as far as I know, and the only place in the United States that it released was at Adidas Originals in Soho. It released only in Berlin, New York, Mexico City, Paris, London, Milan, Moscow, Shanghai, Tokyo, and Seoul. I don't know if I'm saying, is it Seoul, Seoul? I don't, guys, I don't know how to say stuff. I don't know how to say things. At least not the first time. I didn't know the name of my, I didn't know the name of Gloucester. I still don't know if that's right. I didn't know where I was staying in London for, I, st I still don't know apparently. Yeah, so this is the NMD Tokyo R2. If you like it, it's definitely a cool fit, like the black, red with the stripes. It's cool. Like, I like the way this shoe looks a lot. Comfort-wise, not amazing as far, you know, especially compared to an Ultra Boost or a PK Um One cool thing about this shoe is the lace set has a metal tip on the end. So these have metal tips on the end of them, which I think is a cool touch. But that's not really a big deal. The inside of the shoe also has the stripes to represent the crosswalk. You can't see shit. The light is awful in here. Anyway, this is the Tokyo R2 NMD. This is what it looks like. They're going home to the collection regardless. I'm out.